Hello there girls and boys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you some of the tools that I think any single serious music producer should have access to in this very 2024. And if you happen to watch this video a little bit later on throughout the year, well, it's still going to be relevant because these are really good tools and regardless of the period on which you have access to or you get yourself a hold of those, well, they're going to change the way that you produce music and, well, it's going to be great. But before we go, if this is the first time the channel, I welcome you because in here I share with you every single thing I do in order to create, write, produce and of course perform my music live because I know that making a living as a musician is not a dream, it's a possibility. And if I can do it, of course you can do it. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, the first bad boy that I'm going to be sharing with you is of course the fantastic SSL 360 software and the entirety of the environment that it comprises. If you don't know what this is, well, SSL released a series of controllers, it's control surfaces and a particular plugin controller that you have in front of you right now. And they are extremely well crafted, really, really well developed pieces of hardware. But what makes them interesting and amazing is the 360 software, which basically speaking allows you to have or to create your own SSL console through the use of the SSL channel strips and compressors that, well, let me show you some of the stuff that I can do with them. The best part is that up until this point there are many different digital audio workstations that are supported by the protocol. So if you happen to be running, for example, Logic, Pro Tools, Cubase, Luna and some others that I can't remember at this very moment, well, you can find yourself covered by the fantastic uh, use of these tools. I totally recommend them. The next one, of course, is Harrison Mixbus, a fan favorite of this channel. And if you don't know what Harrison Mixbus is, well, it's a really cool digital audio workstation that it's mimicking the workflow of, well, actually mixing on a Harrison console. You have seen me using it several times throughout the year uh, during the live streams, and I gotta tell you, it's a fantastic uh, tool. Not because of it being just, just another uh, DAW. The thing, or what makes Harrison Mix was special, is the fact that it comes with a sound of its own. Basically speaking, every single channel that you create is going to come loaded with the Harrison stuff. We're talking about the channel strip, saturation, and every, everything else. And also the mix bus area, which makes the whole thing its own thing. It's a fantastic digital audio workstation, and the way that I like to approach to it, or the way that I use it, is by not using any form of extra plugins but the ones that comes built in with it. And now with the added support for the SSL UF8 controller, it's making Harrison Mixbus a really, really powerful DAW. Speaking of Harrison Mixbus, they are also developing fantastic plugins that can be run on any other digital audio workstation. And the one that I have fallen in love with is Bass Flow. And this is a super powerful multi-tool, multi-effects unit, devised with the exclusivity of it being used on bass sounds, particularly speaking bass guitar, in my opinion. What makes it special is the fact that it has three different modules, one of which uh, corresponding to a particular uh, section of the bass sound. You got a very powerful spectral compressor, a very powerful character development, like a harmonic distortion stuff, but that can be focused on particular frequencies throughout this bass spe the, the low end spectrum. And of course, a beautifully sculpted uh, equalizer that oof, makes the whole thing one of the best tools for taming the low end of your mixes. Now coming to something a little bit more traditional, in the last few months I've been using extensively the compressors made by Universal Audio. And you will be already saying, isn't Universal Audio meant to be run uh, on one of their platforms, such as an interface? No, not anymore, because they are finally releasing their plugins as native. That's excellent news for every single one of us who lacks their stuff, 
Because I got to tell you, Universal Audio plugins are fantastic. They are some of the best in the business. And the LA2A and the 1176 are must-haves for any single one of you who happen to be mixers. But don't get me wrong, just because uh, Universal Audio is one of the best, that doesn't mean that they are the best making the 1176. Because Purple Audio, the one that is created by Brainworks, is also a great, great take on the beloved circuit. And now that we are talking about Universal Audio, well, they also made available to anybody who is running a Mac their fantastic digital audio workstation called Luna. And Luna is a super modern, super, super well developed. A digital audio orchestration that it's uh, well it's changing the way that i see mixing for real because up until the release of luna i always mixed my music on either logic pro x or harrison mix bus depending on the flavor that i was looking for but luna it's a really really advanced and a software especially because the integration with modern controllers such as the uf8 by ssl it's making it something way way better than i expected to be the best part you can get it for free without the need of a DSP accelerator, such as the traditional ones that were sold by Universal Audio, or the need of having access to one of their interfaces. The only thing you need to have access to is, of course, a Mac computer, and they offer two different versions of the software. One is the free version, which is basically everything you need. It's the entire software at your disposal, and a paid version that comes with fantastic recreations of API channel strips and adding a little bit of summing uh, devices uh, based on NIB circuits. I have fallen in love with Luna so much that now I, I turn it into my main uh, mixing rig and I am now live streaming some of those mixes with you over here on YouTube. So stay tuned for those if you want to know more about this fantastic software. Another fantastic Universal Audio tool that I got to tell you you should get is the recreation of the coveted and fantastic sounding First Child. This is basically speaking just the most colorful uh, plugin that I ever owned in my life, quote unquote, of course, and it's full of personality. It simply gets makes everything better. Now time for some honorable mentions. Even time has to be here, and for mixing, the one that I like the most is T-Verb, which is a great, great take on a fantastic technique involving gates, compressors, and reverbs, and it's excellent for vocals and toms. The next one is my beloved adapter Matrix KB, which is the best, in my opinion, referencing tool that it's available in the market, and is the first plugin that I always recommend any aspiring mixing engineer to get. General fan favorite of this channel and this dubious organization, Track Spacer, which is a docking device which I always use on any one of my mixes uh, to control the relationship between the bass and the kick drum. It's simply amazing. And now the new kid in the block, Super Plate by Sound Toys, one of my favorite companies ever and this is just knocking the ball out of the park it's one of the best if not the best plate plugin i tried throughout the year fantastic So there we have it, girls and boys, some of the best tools that I think any single one of us mixing engineers should have access to in this very year. And I gotta tell you that I've been rocking those bad boys as soon as I got them, and I haven't stopped loving them. These are simply fantastic tools. Some of them are in development, some of them have potential, but the vast majority of them are simply great. So I totally recommend you to get those. And if you happen to have a different selection than mine, please let me know in the comment section down below because that's the whole point of this, having a civilized, yet interesting session of internet combat. If you'd like to support this kind of content, the best way to do it is by listening to music on Apple Music or Spotify, and also by following us on social media such as Instagram and X, 
because that's the best way for you to get in touch with us in a much more personal basis. Now, girls and boys, as every single time that I meet you, I gotta remind you something. Never let anybody tell you what to dream about. Remember that I'll see you when I see you.